Here are some quick bits about Dame Angela Lansbury. She was born in London in 1925. Her mum, Moina McGill, was an actress from Belfast and her dad, Edgar, was in the Communist Party of Great Britain. Angela's granddad was the Labour leader, George Lansbury. Her dad died when she was just nine years old and she got into acting as a coping mechanism. During World War II, the family moved over to America, except for her older half-sister, Isolde, who stayed with her new husband, the actor Peter Ustinov, someone Angela would later star opposite. After moving to Hollywood, she got a big breakthrough aged just 19 in Gaslight, an adaptation of the play and where we get the term to gaslight someone. That was followed by National Velvet with her friend Elizabeth Taylor and she was Oscar nominated again for her role in The Picture of Dorian Gray. Around this time she married Richard Cromwell but the marriage only lasted a year as he was a gay man who had hoped the marriage would change him. The pair though did remain good friends afterwards. She then married Peter Pullen Shaw who had recently split with Joan Crawford and that marriage would last until death did them part. They had two children together joining Peter's son from a previous marriage. During the 1950s, Angela wasn't happy with the roles MGM were giving her, often playing second fiddle and older than her age, so she quit the contract in the late 50s. In the 60s, she again played older as Elvis's mum in Blue Hawaii and in the famous thriller The Manchurian Candidate. She was only three years older than her on-screen son, Lawrence Harvey. Her career got a big revival on stage with a lead in MAME, a part that made her a headline star again and a gay icon, something she loves, saying she's very proud of the fact, though she was disappointed when Lucille Ball played the part on screen. In the late 60s, her son developed a drug problem and her daughter became friendly with Charles Manson, soon to be infamous for the Manson family murders. And so the family decided on a fresh start in County Cork, Ireland, as Angela is an Irish citizen, along with being a citizen of the UK and the US. During the 1970s, she appeared on stage in Gypsy, The King and I, and famously played the first Mrs. Lovett in Sweeney Todd. On screen, Angela was in Bedknobs and Broomsticks, The Lady Vanishes, and then I'll wake you up in time for a good hot lunch. And in Death on the Nile, where she played opposite former brother-in-law Peter Ustinoff and became friends with Betty Davis. In the 80s, she played Miss Marple in an adaptation of The Mirror Cracked. If I thought you believed that the only excitement in my life was predicated on the unfortunate fate of helpless victims who somehow seemed to fall into my path. And that role was a nod towards her next career step. In 1983, she accepted a role that Doris Day had turned down, a retired teacher turned crime-solving novelist, Jessica Fletcher. She played the role of what Angela called the American Miss Marple for 12 years, becoming the exec producer in the later series, though she was frustrated when the channel moved it from Sunday nights to a slot opposite a brand new sitcom on Thursdays. That sitcom was Friends, and Murder, She Wrote ended in 1996. Oh, and not to miss out, in the early 90s, she of course voiced Mrs Potts in Beauty and the Beast, describing the role as a gift to her grandkids. Really? In this century, she has appeared on stage in shows like Driving Miss Daisy, on TV in Law and Order SVU, a BBC adaptation of Little Women, and on the big screen in Nanny McPhee and Mary Poppins Returns. I don't think I've held a balloon since I was a child. Have you forgotten what it's like to hold a balloon? To be a child. Dame Angela Lansbury, we salute you. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.